Hey folks, uh, it's the bear back with you for another silver bullion coin video. So today we're going to have a bit of a look uh, as well as the 2008. Today we're looking at the 1996 uh, version of the Kookaburra silver coin. I've also got uh, here a proof uh, version which I'll show you later on. But uh, for right for this very second we'll concentrate on the bullion version. Uh, now this is the uh, 1996 uh, bullion version of the Kookaburra. As you can see, um, the Kookaburra is in flight. Um, it's personally personally one of my favourite designs, so well, probably the favourite design. But um, I've had a lot of trouble uh, sourcing some of these coins because um, being low mintage, they're um, they're not easy to find. Uh, this uh, coin had a, a mintage, uh, a maximum mintage of 300,000, but in actual fact only, uh, uh, just give me a second, uh, only 170,105 coins are actually minted. So obviously there wasn't a great demand for these silver coins back in those years, but um, um, the resale value of these coins is quite high now. So if you want to buy one on Atmex or... Um, on the secondary market on eBay, you're going to have to pay up because uh, they're not cheap. And like I say, you might have a bit of a problem finding one. Um, so anyway, it features the Kookaburra in full flight um, on the coin, and uh, that's got a um, like a shiny finish. You've got the frosted background around the Kookaburra, and then another um, sort of proof-like finish uh, around the edge. That's the reverse. On the front of the coin, as usual, you've got uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, with a face value of $1. And um, yeah, it's a pretty nice finish on that too. Um, and as usual, the, um, the protective pl plastic capsule prevents it, prevents it from tarnishing and... Uh, uh, and, and and getting any scratching on it so that will preserve its value. Now, um, here we have the proof version of this coin. Now, I don't know whether you really know too much about the proof version, but I'm going to tell you about it, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's um, The proof version is uh, usually not as popular as the uh, bullion version because it's um, a lot pricier. Um, they have to stamp it a couple of times in order to give the um, um, the, the um, coin its uh, proof uh, type finish. Uh, it's not quite as popular with collectors obviously because they're very much more expensive. Uh, but um, <clears throat> uh, as you can see um, the proof version has a the bird in flight in a frosted finish instead of a, a um, shiny finish and uh, the surround is not a frosted uh, surround it is actually uh, a proof like mirror finish <clears throat> um, still exactly the same coin except um, the other th the other thing about it is the uh, this one as you can see it's a 1995 version not a 1996 because they always release the proof version one year before the before the bullion version, so uh, <clears throat> but it is a very handsome coin, um, exactly the same design except for those differences, and um, you know it's it's worth picking up on eBay because uh, a lot of the time right these days um, you, know, you can pick up the proof version for almost the same price as the bullion version, so you can pick them up for a bargain price really. Um, long as you get them for around the same price as the bullion version they're, they're a great coin to have still one ounce of silver but um, you know um, they're, they're a different design and uh, some of you might like the proof uh, proofs a lot better I certainly like the proof one but I still sort of lean towards the bullion version <clears throat> anyway on the front of the coin you've got Queen Elizabeth again as usual and uh, the uh, um, um, kookaburra design on the reverse and uh, as usual you've got um, the uh, protective capsule anyway that's the 1996 um, kookaburra folks see you next time